Hey folks, so uh, happy Easter for all Orthodox people because today is the great holiday for them. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, you could notice if you're following my channel for a long time, it had a couple of the transformations. So first I start as a Ukrainian uh, content channel about the tea and matter. After that, I switch to some general architecture and IT topics and try to explain, especially to uh, people who just start in IT, uh, what it means, what's to do, how to build their skills. In the some point of time, I decided to switch to the English to have the broader audience because I work in a EU. And uh, in some point of time, I take the type decision that I want to focus on the self-sovereign identity, holistic identity, and uh, uh, actually the data uh, market. So and data economy. Actually, uh, what I miss, uh, I miss to. Uh, explain why so why i get hooked to the self-sovereign identity and why i believe that uh, we really need it it's the future and uh, it will transform uh, not only the it but the society for better and uh, you know i don't want to uh, make the boring talk about that internet is broken internet have the lack of the uh, security layer internet have a lack of the persistent because then uh, we will have yet another blah blah talk about how the blockchains will transform uh, everything i don't believe that they will uh, but it's the separate topic for the separate video so uh, you know i start my career year 20 years ago as a software developer so the identity systems it's not something new for me so uh, i was working on the huge identity projects at ukraine when i was on the soft serve company with the, some corporate uh, building blocks from the microsoft but the first aha moment that happens with me was the TomTom. -tom. So, you know, TomTom -tom is the huge company that sell the navigators and actually uh, practically everybody uh, have a TomTom -tom or somehow embedded system that uh, rely on TomTom. -tom. But what uh, I was doing at TomTom, -tom, I was the part of the traffic analytic department that actually work with the traces and make the data business from the traces that you report and then I had the big aha moment that you know you travel every day from home to work from work to home and all other things you generate the billions and billions of the data points that generates somebody else business don't get me wrong I am the capitalist in the core I know how the communism work because I was born in Ukraine and uh, I'm most capitalistic person ever in the world i believe in money i want to be rich but uh, if you will talk about the situation in the internet with the data uh, practically every user lives somehow in the soviet union i will explain what i mean that even this video that you are right now watching on youtube if youtube will decide that it's a bad video uh, it will disappear it will not disappear completely because i use some decentralized social medias like uh, uh, you know the peer tube and Odyssey you could watch me there if you want uh, but uh, YouTube could just shut down my account throw my videos take everything that I create and just throw it away to the waste bin the same I have the medium block and actually it's not my data it's my content I produce it maybe in some point of time when youtube will decide that i deserve to get some money based on this content uh, maybe i will get something but it's not so democratized so you know why uh, every user uh, somehow uh, live as a soviet union guy that you produce the tons of the valuable things you produce the tons of the data points but you own nothing it's not your data. If you will uh, read the agreement, it's the data of the platform. And actually, it's completely wrong. So uh, what I want to have, I want to have my data owned by me, host by me, and uh, make the decisions of what I could do with this data. And maybe I could sell them, and maybe I could make some uh, money on top of it, or maybe I want just to improve some 
uh, areas with my data that I believe. So it was the first hook, but I never had the answer how to change this uh, situation uh, for better, how to do it differently. And, you know, in uh, 2020, in a cr uh, COVID crisis, when a couple of the startups failed completely and I was practically uh, unemployed, it's not really true, but it's a long story. It was the hard times for uh, us. Uh, I meet uh, Affinity and Affinity is the amazing guys that work in completely different domain that I never heard before. But what's most important that one of the companies that works together with Affinity, Good Worker, was really focused on the ethical, social business uh, that uh, give the identity and employment history to the seasonal blue collar workers in India. So it was the huge problem that uh, uh, you seasonal worker, uh, you don't have the employment history. Uh, you could not show that you have the skills. You could not show that you have income. And as a result, you could not take the loan in a bank or you could not find the next better job for you uh, to actually uh, make your family better and uh, I think it solves this problem so they create the wallets with the identity they create the uh, verifiable credentials that actually the proof of employment proof of skills and uh, in the next iteration <coughs> of good worker they even make the possibility to obtain the necessary skills, to uh, learn something, to improve the uh, blue collar guys. And uh, actually, based on this data, they make even next step that uh, you could take the loan from the bank because you now could prove that you have the stable income, but it's maybe coming from different uh, sources and all other things. So for me, it was the mind blowing because uh, you know, it's ethical, it's solving the real world problem. And what's more important, it's uh, give uh, your data back to you. It's give your identity back to you because, uh, yeah, we have the problem that internet do not have the identity and security layer. And we have the problem that uh, actually uh, all the data is in silos and not user centric, but corporate centric. And uh, it's the main philosophy and the main idea of the self-sovereign identity that it's solve actually, uh, it's self-sovereign identity for me, it's more the philosophical concept and the set of uh, 10 principles. You could watch the video about the self-sovereign identity and how it's correlated with the identity laws, how it's correlated with the privacy by design, how it's correlated with the other principles that together could build the better internet, the more user-centric internet, the, the could build the data of the data, build the basics of the data exchange and data economy, and actually could uh, give you the instruments that finally could turn uh, your data points uh, to make the money for you, but not for others, but maybe for others too, if you decide to do it. So, uh, you know, it, for me, it was mind blowing. For me, it was extremely interesting. And actually, I think he was responsible to build the building blocks that built such kind of systems for other. And I decide that uh, I definitely want to do it. And, you know, uh, another problem and another domain that uh, I'm quite actively working right now is the holistic identity, because it was just the start of the journey. Uh, when you uh, give the possibility uh, to create the, the identity, uh, it's quite philosophical question what identity is, but then you figure out that you need to build the new identity systems to enable all this good thing that I mentioned before. And uh, it's still ongoing. It still require adoption. It still require the user awareness about his data, his style of life, that data matters, that you could make something different, that you could change the world with your data and you could 
change how you operate with the proper way of having your identity of uh, taking care about your digital representations uh, taking care about the sovereign you in a, a network and actually you know i discover how much unfair actually the existing identity system is that uh, they have the long-lived uh, quite authoritative and administrative relations with the user that just suck all the sensitive information from the user and sometimes leak this information that could lead from uh, quite bad uh, results and uh, we are going to change this we are going to make this more secure more privacy focused and that's what i'm talking about what i'm talking about on my channel yeah my channel dropped the views my channel have not so much users right now uh, i doing not only the youtube i doing the medium uh, blog posts i do a lot of technical talks there i actually have some little projects for example i compile all my videos uh, together with the uh, ipython notebook uh, about our affinity sdk to a little site that hosts uh, for free on the github pages so you could have step-by-step -step coding exercises step-by-step -step explanations how the solve sovereign identity work how different DAD methods work uh, how to make the applications based on it so i will leave the links to my medium channel and uh, to the ssi notebooks in this video so you see that I'm hooked to the domain, I believe to the future of the self-sovereign identity and holistic identity solutions, and I want to do something together with you. So if you are interested, if you want to join this process, uh, just let me know, write the comments, share the video, uh, explain the basics, uh, try to take a look to the videos where I explain uh, how all this uh, self-sovereign identity principles uh, works together. I will be happy to hear from you and I try to explain why it's really matter for me and why it's matter for you. So uh, I wish you the nice holidays and see you in the next video.